Pardon. But we need a microphone for you because the drug division would love to pick up the sound. I just want to ask Professor Appleby the opportunity to connect that with our history. Is Romney connecting with the with the gospel gospel of wealth story that has played in American history and American politics before? That those who deserve and those who act righteously will succeed along some kind of religious principle that has been played before us. Is that his story, and, and, and does it really not work somehow? I think that is his story. I think that's a story that he's trying uh, to connect with, but I don't think that's ever been a very successful in, in, in politics, because I think it's not congruent with American political traditions. It's been successful in uh, you know, winning people over in uh, rotary meetings or uh, you know, at, at some convention of people, but I don't think it is successful because it suggests the one person standing out against the whole, it's, it, and it doesn't really speak to the idea that Americans think they're very special. They're special because they have a government that protects their rights. They're special because they're a land of opportunity. Uh, and so we know that many of these things now have a mythic quality, but I still think that a candidate has to connect with this sort of core story about what Americans are. And what's interesting to me is that the founding fathers really didn't define this. This was a generation that was born after the revolution, a generation that didn't have anything to do with colonial America, wasn't essentially elitist or cosmopolitan as the founding fathers were. It was a, a, a an inward, westward looking, away from Europe and European values. And what did Americans extol? They extol what they thought was unique to them. Great art? No. Great music? No. Great war accomplishments? No. They were sturdy, they were hardy, they were innovative, they stood on their own. It's not that they didn't cooperate, because the, the, the tradition on the frontier is that you do cooperate, you help each other, but it was this doing things on doing things yourself and being self-reliant. And I think that you have to plug into that. And well, he's clearly trying, but the idea of the gospel of wealth, that isn't really what the goal is. It's not to make a lot of money. It's to be responsible, to take care of your family, take care of your community. And in that sense, I think Obama's doing a much better job. But I, I think any American candidate for president has to in some way connect with this core feeling about what it is that makes America different from other countries. This just drives Europeans crazy that we're always talking about freedom and liberty. They think, don't we Swedes have liberty? Don't the British have these traditions? But we think that in some way we uniquely hold them. And that's what I think Canada has to touch base with. 